Hello motoristas! Last episode, we checked some beaches in Lingayen and enjoyed some pigar-pigar in Dagupan. Today, we're visiting the western side of Mangasinan, particularly Bolinao. Here's our itinerary for today. Head to Bolinao Cape Lighthouse, have lunch at Sungayan Floating Restaurant, swimming at Patar Beach, and finally head back to Dagupan City. If it's your first time here, my name is JT and I have accepted a personal challenge of touring the 81 provinces of the Philippines on two wheels within three years. I track my progress by putting markers on my printed map. Make sure to check out my adventures on the video section of the channel. Good morning, motoristas! So we're here in Jollibee. This is Seguro 100 to 150 uh, miles. 100 to 150 meters from the hotel. So, katapat namin is uh, their CSI Market Square. It's a mall. So, meron din makdo doon. Pero, ito na kami sa Jollibee. Mas marami akong gusto breakfast dito sa Jollibee. We're waiting for the others and then shortly we'll leave. Sabi ko sa kanila, pagdala ng ekstrang pagkain. Para kung sakaling kailanganin namin, meron kami. Si Damulag, nagdala ng sari-sari store. Bentaan sa nito yung pera, ayos. Negosyante! Meron po negosyante dito. Ito, magkano yung blutot? Magkano yung blutot? Magkano yung blutot? Magkano Sir, ang gulo naman ng tindahan Parang Shopee ah Parang ukay-ukay Stephen yan Stephen May pumalit na kaya no Alam nyo ka motor kaya marami dala pagkain Pagkasama nyo si JT magugutong ka sa biyahe Kasi humito yan Payo ko yan Italakay ka ito, mauumagigitan ka kay Titi Uy, para iba ibig sabihin na Now off to our Bolinao Adventure The approaching vehicle stopped, so we figured they were letting us pass. And we had no idea what was in front of us. The bikes behind me were piling up, so I had no choice but to proceed. This is what happens when there's no traffic aid on these under construction roads. Nabuisit ko yata yung mga tricycle drivers. Kaya nung pumulot siya ng bato, handa na akong umilag. Ah, hindi naman pala. Thank you, kuya. Ah, finally!
We intentionally left out 100 islands because in order to fully appreciate it, you obviously need to do island hopping which will take at least half or an entire day. So instead of visiting just one spot, we opted to tour Bolinao area which is a less common destination. But since some of us haven't been to 100 islands in Alaminos, we decided to have a quick group photo on its arc. I suddenly received a call from Chi. Apparently, he had an accident. We hurriedly got back to check on him. He did not notice an elevated section of the road ahead on high speed which damaged both of his wheels, losing control of his bike and eventually slides. He didn't wear any elbow pads, which most of us were not aware, hence the damage. We immediately brought him to a nearby hospital. According to the nurse, he, he did not need any x-ray since she's pretty sure there's no fracture. His wounds were treated immediately. We're just glad nothing worse happened. He decided to go back to the hotel to rest while he waits for a relative who will fetch him. He left his bike to a repair shop. We brought him to the van terminal which travels directly to the Gupan. The group actually decided to chip in to help with the repairs of the motorcycle. Since we lost time, we made some changes to the itinerary and decided to go straight to lunch instead of Lighthouse after a photo ops at 100 Islands Arc. According to the vendors, we can bring our bikes at the Ark as long as we ask for permission. If you're going to do the same, make sure to inform both the guards and the tourism office staff just to be sure since they tend to point fingers at each other. Time to head to Sungayan restaurant for lunch. If you have been watching Mutur for a while now, you'll know that Google Maps is a reliable navigation app. But not all the time. Ilang beses na din tayo pinahamak nito. Dito niya kami pinapadaan at buti na lang nakita agad ng isa sa amin na malupit na rough road na naman pala ang dadaanan. Muntik na naman tayo mabiktima. Not this time Google Maps. Not this time. Finally, kakain na kami. Pagkatapos ng mga merienda, groceries. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> so dito ang parking area at least malilong <laughs> And then just beside it is the river. So floating uh, restaurant siya. Tingnan natin. So dito ang parking ng mga four wheels. Hindi pwede magpark dito. And dito rin natin mga balsa. Some souvenir shops. Saan po ang resto? Dito lang po. Wow! Sarap naman! Wow naman! Ganyan rin po ba yung kakainin namin doon? Oo, ganyan. Mas masarap po yata yan eh. Pwede ba makisalo na lang kami? Sungayan pa yun. Dito walang sungayan. Ah, ganun ba? Okay. Ano ba yung sungayan? Halig na niya. Tapulin. Ayan bro. Floating tayo. Parang sa buhol. Yung floating uh, resto may mga kumakanta pa. Ito, smaller. Ang laki pala. Ayan na. The taste of Bolinao. Ayan, may contact number pa. Ito na tayo. So, you have an option na uh, dito lang kumain. Sa structure nila. Ano po yan? Papotok? Suman, sir. Ay, suman pala. Ano pa special dyan sa suman na yan? Ito yung delay kasi namin dito sa Bolinao. Suman din po ang tawag. Suman Binungay. 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 Pwede buksan pa pa kita naman. Pag binuksan, bibili na. Parang biyakin. Pwede pong biyakin. Pero may kutsara din kami, sir. Parang ganyan din yung sa ano ito gigaraw. Mas may coco jam din po siya. Magkano po? May 50 po. May tatlo 100. Oo. Oh. Anong may in-offer nyo? Um, sige po. River cruise po ba, sir? Yes. Magkano ang rates ng river cruise? Uh, kapag river cruise po, pag 12 person pa baba po, um, 1K lang po yun. Kapag 13 to 18 packs naman po, 1.5 po. Pag 18 pataas na po, 2,000 na po. Is it consumable? Um, yes naman. Po. Consumable yun. Alright, great. Sige. Cruise kami. Gano'n kaya tagal yung cruise na yun? Actually, ang uh, river cruise po, um, ilibot po kayo 1 hour po. 30 minutes po papunta, 30 minutes. Oo, okay, great, great. Gusto namin yan. Tapos sasabi mo, consumable. Okay, great. Sige. Sige. Okay. Now using the Hero 7. Kasi pag mga ganito naglalakad, medyo shake yung hands natin. So, baka mahilo kayo. Mamaya natin gagamitin yung uh, main camera sa mga booth. In the meantime, ito muna gamitin natin. Let's try its uh, stabilization kung maganda nga talaga. Alright. Wow, ang laki! Wow, 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 gumagalaw. Yes, sir! Wow! Woo! Naubos! Ano ba yung sungayan? Isang klase ng isda. Anong ano, uh, grilled nga, grilled sungayan. Masarap ba talaga siya? Yes. Tapos din namin matitikman ngayon. Anong sunod na pinakamasarap? Ito po sir, yung group meals ko lang. So wala lang sungayan. Anong kapalit? Grilled malaga. Grilled malaga. Halo halo. Halo halo wala. Ito yung in order na. Ha? Halo halo. Meron. 18 na halo halo. 10 10. All right. So ito yung order namin. Unfortunately, walang grilled sungayan or grilled sungayan. So papalitan niyo ng ibang fish. And wala rin daw calamares. So um hipon na lang. So make sure na kapag order kayo dito, you order everything before leaving. Kasi pag nandun na kayo sa gitna, hindi na kayo maka-order. Order everything, decide before you leave. Kasi one hour, it will take one hour para makiikot yung boat doon sa magkabilang side ng river. So hilahin nyo na mahabang mahabang tali. Yung floating, they call it floating. Ito na, dala-dala na niya. Ganyan ang itsura namin mamaya. So just imagine, one small boat pulling a ton of people. 
Ini mga bata. Naku, oy grabe naman 'tong mga bata to. Bigas ng ulo oh. Kain na 'yung mga bata na kalatkad oh. Ano 'yan para mga pirates? Oh, may mga kamote no, kamote. Bangkeros. So we just finished the uh, conversing with the staff here. Kasi nung nag-inquire kami, meron daw fee na depende sa number of people, ganun yung babayaran mo for the boat or for the for the balsa. So kapag uh, since we are <laughs> Since we are around 19 So we asked them if it was if it is consumable so meaning it can be used to purchase food as well So sabi nila namin very clear yes now After a while nalaman namin hindi pala sa consumable Pinanggit ko lang para just in case na you want to try this restaurant make sure to talk clearly dun sa mga staff nila dito kasi baka ma-misinterpret na naman kayo hindi na naman kayo magkaintindihan So yun lang make sure na malinaw lahat ng instructions sa nila kasi baka you will end up paying more than what you're expecting Let's wait for the food around 30 to 45 minutes now Let's wait for it Ayun Aga-agang pala nila sa ispa lang yung nandun na nakakas So that's how they return Ganit ka talaga sa kapit bahay no Here comes the food! Ah, ganun pala siya. Boodle siya. Boodle pala! Charge. Charge the experience. Pero yan, siguradong consumable yan, ano? Ganyan, ganyan namin, apat. Isa lang. Ay, yan na yun. Guys, i-clear po, please. Ah, that's how they serve it. So, okay, nito lang siya, natapat yan ng dang. Ito lang yan, eh. Siksikan. Ayun nyo lang. Wow! Sige, binibigay ko na kay Jonathan yung ano, kay Sir Jonathan yung party ko. Ah, meron pa lang. Akala ko makaroni. Ang aming pupuri pa sana masaya. Ang aming pupuri pa sana masaya. Ang aming pupuri pa sana masaya. Amen. Ang aming pupuri pa sana masaya. Amen. Thank you, Father. Oo. Ano ko masaya? Halo. Ay siya, unahin ko na yun. Yun yung halo-halo, oh. So, meron mga tagatulak talaga, ano? Nararamdaman yung... Wow! Sumabit sa kabilang... Sira na yung bahay natin! So, ito yung other side. Lawit mo na lang. Tapos... Ito yung sa kabilang naman. Naba din pala. Kaya inabot ng 1 hour. Oh no, ito na yung tension. Ayun, ang galing. Gradual. Walang gloves, gloves. Kamay lang talaga. So, I ordered the halo-halo. This is just 60 pesos. Medyo tunaw na siya kasi kanina pa siya na-serve. Masarap. Ah, talaga? Tama-tama yung tamis niya. Tsaka yung pagkagatas. This is what happened to the price na nang natira. Dami sa anang crabs, oh. Tsaka mga shrimps. Kaya lang, hindi ko pwedeng galawin yan. Crabs lang pala. Dito na mag-u-turn. So, we came from there. May mga bata pa. And then, pagdating nyo dito sa part na to, u-turn na kayo. Araw-araw, ano, 3 kilometers ba yung narating natin? 30 minutes, ano? Pupunta tayo sa 30 minutes. Ayan, babalik tayo sa kabilang. Sa kabilang dulo naman. Alam niyo yung Lost na series? Yan yun, yun yun. Yung aso nung batang black. Sabi niya, ang motor! Motor! So pwede kayong grupo, pwede kayong family, or pwede rin na ganyan, di ba? Date lang. Uh-oh. We're leaving the boat. After the sumptuous meal, we went back to the parking area. And to my surprise, I was missing a side mirror. 
The residents there told me that the bike fell over, hence the damage. They said the sand where the bike stands was too soft. But I was sure I placed some rocks there and it was pretty stable. Some of the motor team thinks someone might have sat on it and wasn't able to handle it. Anyway, nothing you can do about it so we continued our journey. We were running out of time so we just made some short stops on several destinations, starting with the Enchanted Cave. Panikiki was here a few weeks ago and suggested about the short stops since they were all nearby. Alright, so before heading to pa Patar Beach, Tumigil na kami sandali dito sa Enchanted Cave. Hindi na kami pupunta doon. Wala na kaming time. So, pwede na kami pumuesta dito. Pero wag daw doon sa may pinakamalapit sa taas. Kasi, meron daw mga bubuyog dito. Pero pag sa first and second, pwede daw. We may have reached just the entrance, but we included it since we wanted to give you an idea of their location. Gustong gusto sana namin pumasok, pero wala ng oras. Nabitin ba kayo? Kami din. Next is the Cape Bolinao Lighthouse. The Cape Bolinao Lighthouse sits on top of Punta Piedra Point, a towering hill of solid rock which is the sharp point of Cape Bolinao itself. The lighthouse rises 351 feet above sea level. It was built by the Americans in 1903 and until now sends signals to vessels passing by the area. So the lighthouse, after shooting, mayroong biglang umabang dito ng motorista. O oh, matanda na ano, mga quick, quick ride, ride. di ba? Yes. yes. Hello motorista, yes. Junel from Cavite. So may event lang kami dito ngayon sa Pangasinan. Me All Stars Riders Club. Apparently nakita ko yung grupo ni Sir JT, hindi ako nagkamali. Siyempre, sobrang fan ako. Kaya hinabol ko si Sir JT. Nice. Ito. Thank you, Sir. Hanggang dito, ha? Siyempre, Sir JT yan eh. <laughs> Thank you, Junel. Thank you. Okay. Ride safe. It's getting a bit dark, but they were too determined to have some beach time, so we looked for an affordable place with huge parking area along Patar Beach. Hello, so we just got here sa Patar Beach. So marami kaming uh, naging choices, no? naging option. Dito na lang kami since uh, mabilis lang naman kami. And yung iba kasi medyo mataas yung singil nila. Siguro 1 to 2 hours lang kami dito. At least nabuta namin yung sunset. Anyway, it has a very spacious parking area. Dito kami nagpark. So itong mismo house na yan, pwede nyo rin yan na i-rent by itself. Tapos meron din mga cottages dito. And dito naman kami sa cottage na to. So malaki na rin siya. At least meron kaming pwedeng lagyan ng mga gamit. Magkano tayo? Magkano ang ano? 1,000 pesos? So 1,000 pesos, tama ba? 700 daw itong cottage na to. Kukuha na namin ng discount. 
Yeah. Okay. So tingnan natin ang beach. So, Polipol Island. So definitely mga island din yan. Island hopping activities. Meron mga souvenirs. And this is uh, the way going to the beach. Uy, sunset talaga oh. Pwede mo kikabot na lang. Nag, nag, the nag. Dami tao ah. In fairness. Diyan ako mga mga tayo. Talikod nga kayo, talikod kayo, talikod kayo. Tahami rin So it's not Really that white But at least cream yung color niya Or light brown Parang pulforon Sand is pretty fine din Ito siya Wow look at that sunset Oh ang tahami tao Look at this sight Aala ko yung mga nasa taas lang Since pataas siya, natago yung mga nasa baba. Here. Baba. Kasi ko naman pala sa area na yun. Night swimming! Mapag-drone ka. So again, I'm using my GoPro. According to reviews, sa low light, medyo nagsa-struggle siya. I'm not using any selfie stick. So, kamay ko lang yan. And you can see the field of view. Ang laki niya, di ba? Hindi <laughs> ko pa nakikita ngayon kung hanggang saan. Pero, I think more than my face. Pero yung may previous camera, siguro hanggang dito lang. So, that's the advantage of that. But, mamimiss ko siguro dun sa isa kong camera usually, is the sound. Mas maganda yung sound na bassy siguro yung bosses ko. Mas, uh, mas true to life. I'm not gonna fly my drone anymore kasi medyo useless. Kasi nga padilim na. So wala na rin tayo masyado makikita. Diba? Perfect. Basura. We're still more than 100 kilometers away from the hotel. So we slowly but safely rode our way there. Next episode. Hmm, gano'ng kalaki oh. So dito ang table ng mga babae. Kita nyo, napakalaking babae oh. <laughs> Napunod nyo na ba yung The Matrix? Eh, ito yung hinahanap nila, yung pinoprotektahan nila. Thank you for watching. 